Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fifth grade concept of generating additive and multiplicative patterns. This is standard 5.4c in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 16, which is a new item type called drag and drop, of the 2023 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. All right, so let's take a look at this drag and drop. We've got two blanks here, and we've got a total of eight different options. And right, if we only try to answer one, it will give us this error message, and each answer is only going to be used once. All right, so that's how we're going to use our drag and drop for this particular problem. So let's take a look at what we have here. All right, so a person runs a lap around a track. So they give us the relationship between x, that's the number of laps, and then y, total distance, is, all right, so they give us this equation. All right, so y equals 0.25x. Now, if we uh, want to think about it a different way, right, 0.25 cents, right, that's a quarter. It's one fourth. We could view it as a fraction, if that would help us. Y equals one fourth x. Kind of does the same thing. And we just need to find the correct answers to go into those blanks. All right, so let's look at what we know to see how it works. So we have two relationships here that we know for certain. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write this y equals 0.25x. I'm going to substitute in my x first is going to be my 2. My y first is going to be 0 0.5. Okay, so let's say 0 0.5 equals 0 0.25, and then my x is 2. All right, so if I double 0 0.25, I'm going to get 0 0.5. I could do the multiplication, but remember, that looks like 25 cents, right? What does 225 cents or 2 quarters equal? 50 cents. So yeah, if I double 0 0.25, I am going to get 0 0.5 or 0 0.50. All right, let's take a look at this one right here. So my number of uh, laps is going to be 8. Right, That's my x. My total distance is going to be 2 equals 0 0.25 times 8. That I could go ahead and multiply, right? 0 0.25 times 8, that's 40, 16, 20, right? There's two digits behind the decimal. Yes, yeah, so that's two dollars. Eight quarters makes two dollars. Okay, so that's how that works. So now we need to figure this out here. I need seven x, and I don't know what the y is. Zero point two five times seven. Well. Look, they just give it to me right there. All I need to do is multiply uh, that 7 by that 0 0.25. Now, I can use a little bit of reasoning. Look, if 8 is going to be 2, 7 is going to be just a little bit less than 2. Uh, so I'm looking at this. these two, either of those two are going to be a little bit less than 2. But let's go ahead and figure it out. 0 0.25 times 7. It's 35, 2 times 7 is 14, add that 3 is 17. All right, so, all right, so is that 175? And that makes sense, it's a little bit closer to than 1.25. So let's get that 175 in there. Now, we can also use reasonable this here. Look, if 8 equals 2, 17 is a little bit more than doubling it. So doubling 2 would give me 4. I'm needing a little bit more than 4. So I'm looking at that one right there. But let's just see. y equals 0 0.25 times 17. So let's do the math. 17, 35, 14, 17, 175. And then I've got 0, 2, 5, 5, 2, there we go. 425, two digits behind the decimal. It is that 425. And that is how we get full credit on this two-point problem.